Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make a very basic laser beam in UDK. For that, open Photoshop, go to File, New, and then create a new image with a height of 512 and a height from, of 512 pixels. Okay. Now go to the color and choose the black one. And then fill the background with the black color. So go to the bucket and fill it with the black color. Now go to the color and choose the white one. Then go to the pencil. And in here is to choose the first pencil and the size of 152. So here 152 and then just draw a simple line. Okay, now go to the blue channel and duplicate it. Click onto it, go to image, adjustments, levels. Put the third arrow a little bit down and all the others to the third arrow, like this here. And then, okay, now go to file. Save as under target, so a TGA file, and the file name, let's call it laser, and save. Yes. Now open new decay, and wait a little bit. <coughs> okay, now we can close Photoshop. No? Okay. Now import your picture. So import desktop laser then call it package name so laser blah, 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 and ok to all now save this package and go to udk game textures and type in floor now go down a little bit and then you will find this here this normal map LT floor BSP recycle 05. I right click onto it and then create a copy and copy it to our package. And okay, do Now right click onto your laser texture and create new material. Go into the material editor, click onto the normal map, do another right click in the material editor, texture, and then new texture sample. Okay, now we need two multiplies, so type in multiply and add two of these. Then connect the first multiply with the missive and the second multiply with A and our laser texture with B, like this here. And connect the normal map with B. Okay, now we have to add a panel. So panel and connect it with the UVs and in the panel you have to choose a value of X 0 0.2 and Y 0 0.1 okay now type in core um, chord oh wait chord and now add a texture coordinate and connect this to coordinate and in the texture coordinate at U tiling and V tiling you have to type in 2 and that's it for that now we need have to give our laser beam a color because now it's, it is just white but we want a green color so type in a con and add a constant 3 vector and connect this to multiply click onto it and at G you have to type in 30 for green color or you can play around with these settings but I will choose 30 okay now we're under blend mode you have to choose additive and that's it save it now with the material selected do right click new particular system give it a name let's say laser and okay and let's load it a little bit. Okay, under required and under duration, so down here, and under emitter loops, you have to type in 1. Then at spawn, under spawn and constant, you have to type in 1. So we want just one laser beam to spawn. Then under spawn and under burst, on the burst list, you have to click on this little plus. And on the counter, you have to type in 1. Now just one 
spawns. Okay, now I right click, then type data, new beam data, and wait a little bit. Okay, now we've made a beam. On the beam data, on the beam, and on the speed, we have to type in zero. Now we see we have a little green laser here. Okay, then another right click, beam, source. And under the source, on the source and on a constant, you have to type in zero at x, y, and z. Okay. Now, another right click, beam, and then add a target, because now we want to add a target where the laser should point at. So, under the target, go to add, go to target, and under constant, you have to type in x, 1000, and the other two, zero. Okay, this looks good here. Now go to the beam data and on the beam on the texture tile distance you have to type in let's say 300 that looks a little bit better. Now go to initial size and the distribution you have to click onto this little blue arrow here and type distribution vector constant. And on a constant at x you have to type in 1 to 10. So 1 is very small, and 10 would be very, very big. You can also choose 3, but I will choose, let's say, 2. This looks good here. Okay, that's it. Now close the editor, and save it. And place it to your level. As you can see, here is our laser. Rotate it a little bit, and here is it. Here was it. Now go to Kismet. With the meter selector going to Kismet, do right click, new event, level loaded, another right click, new action, toggle, toggle, connect the load invisible with turn on, and the target must be our emitter. And try it out, play from here. Now see, there is our laser beam. And it looks very good. That's it, how to make a very simple laser beam. And yeah, thank you for watching and until next time.